Okay, so now we arrange this photo mat over here and I am plan planning to use this stack over here that we have. Let me show you. Oops. Okay, so I want to make use of this tags uh, just to hold this photo mat. Um, so I'm thinking that I cut this strip which is one inches by I think three inches. Okay, and then I'm going to score. Okay, so then I am going to score at two inches and two by one eighth inches. So it is going to be here on this side. strip so we have this two inches so I'm going to put it on top of this so this is two inches by one inches so it is going to be um, one by three fourth and over here it is going to be three fourth Okay, so I have cut these two strips that is a three, uh, three fourth by one and three fourth inches and also I got this um, magnets from Home Depot um, and I'm going to put this on this flap because I'm planning to make it like a, you know, a magnetic uh, flap over here to secure this frame, uh, sorry not the frame, uh, this um, photo mat. So let's, I'll show you, I'll just get one of these. It's going to be like this and now <clears throat> next step is uh, where is my okay i'm going to cut this tag from uh, here where is it okay i'm going to cut this tag here it has beautiful butter butterfly over here so i'm just going to cut it and i'll be back okay so i have this tag um, now i'm going to because i want to create a background with this cardstock white cardstock so I will just do one thing, I will just stick it, I just want to make a like a very thin background around it, just to give a little dimension to our tag and I am going to cut it around this, okay. Okay, so it is going to be like this. Now uh, I am going to stick this <coughs> here. Let 
it's maybe later on if I have uh, more of this leftover tag I'll add one piece over here but right now let's just stick to with this uh, so there are chances like once I'm done with all layouts I will whatever leftover uh, elements I have I will add to my uh, layout so what for now this is what we are going to do and I'm going to stick this over here on the back Side, whenever we place this mat on our like in, in our album there will be magnet from behind so it will secure this uh, photo mats over here okay and here uh, let me think what else I can do okay so I just thought of adding some more elements to my page or uh, this uh, layout because it is looking very simple so I cut this uh, that bit of uh, string from this like big patch I got this in Hobby Lobby and it is really good like you can uh, I think it was on sale 50% sale so I got a really good deal on this uh, so I'm going to put this uh, around on the all sides so let's get started Already cut them uh, in sizes. Okay. This is how it will look. Likewise, you can put it on all of the remaining three corners. Okay. I'm sorry, I did not put it. Okay. okay. So, this is how it is looking. Uh, now, I'm going to add this twine. Mm -hmm. I, again, I got this pretty list in Hobby Lobby. Again, 50% discount. And you can also get a like, really good deal on this. So, places so I am planning to put it like this okay so one of the leaf may come on this leg but that's fine okay so let's see of them are on the on this mat but that is fine it will be okay and then we can do one more thing is we can add one more string here maybe like this okay this this like a middle what do you say stem like just align on the old one so that 
Now my don't one here. The previous one. And I think I should it here. that I made. small flowers as a filler flowers here and there let's see like this yeah. just to you know make it a little more like give some depth to our uh, page so I'm just first first of all arranging all the flowers to see like how they are looking and then we can go ahead and put them together this is how I like to do, like just first arrange all the flowers and when you are satisfied with your composition, just try or do and glue them. I don't want to get this flower on top of here, so maybe let's see, yeah, I will just add this first. instead of just getting rid of this stain and putting them okay. I love making flowers so whenever I get some free time I just start making some birds small birds or like um rose flowers so and that way you know I can use them in my project as well so it helps me very well I think I will need one more here as well because I don't want to like this So next thing I can do is, uh, I have this, I got this uh, butterflies and you will not believe it, uh, I got these butterflies at Dollar Tree store, so I just grab as much as I can, so these are really beautiful butterflies, these are like autocolored stickers, so I think I can make use of these butterflies as well. Um, okay, which one do you think will go well on this one? I really don't want like really huge one so let's see um, i'm confused <laughs> um, they are all they all are so beautiful that uh, it's very difficult for me to decide which one to use i don't want to use this one because this is too bright um yellow no maybe i need to select one from these three um what do you guys think which one should we use because then it will give some contrast over here so let's see oh wait, I, I like this i'll use this one okay. 
and this is at the bottom so that we don't have to remove the entire stuff. to eat because as I said I need I want it to be a little bit full of elements so let's see what else we can add mm. also I got this autocollants from again from Dollar Tree but it was a long time back and they do have nice stickers here so maybe we can add one of this here on over here so that you know this will cover entire white space on this uh, mat so let's go ahead and use this just mm -hmm. bring spin time in order to get all the signs of autocamera of stickers and they are really pretty I think I need to do this It's like a three dimensional, so that hmm. this is perfect. Right. Hmm, that's pretty. And then, uh, I know I'm not yet getting over with it. Uh, I feel like I should be adding some more things. So what else? I think we can add some pulse around. Uh, so let's see. Let's put this away. Okay, so I have these different pulse. So maybe I can add, go ahead and add those here and there. Uh, just to, you know, fill those as a filler. Maybe you can add. See, they are looking good. I think they are looking pretty. It is giving like good effect for our page. And see, I can put it here. Actually, this is not a nice one. Hmm, okay. Look here. And then, maybe small pull. Okay, this big one. For here. Just like I'm not thinking uh, much of while adding this pearl, I'm just randomly adding them. Um, I don't want to put it here because the thing is, we are going to open this flap and I don't want to get it stuck because of that pearl. But I can put it here. Okay, do you think anywhere else we can add this pearl? And here. And one on the pad on the other side. Now there is the white one. Okay. because I don't want to just like put them on one side and have nothing on the other one so just make it even distribution of pearls we just add it on the other side as well okay this is so pretty okay and then um, do you think we can add a stick pin here because in my last video I made a lot of stick pins so I do have some so let's see So these are all my stick pins and I do have a video on the stick pins, tutorial on this of the stick pins so you can have it. you can take a look at the tutorial if you want to make your own stick pin. So this is looking pretty and anything else? Mm -hmm. I think we can 
can you do that? Or where do you want to put this? Just making sure. Let me put this away because I don't want to hold it in one hand. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, so I just want, don't want to hold it in one hand and you know, do my stuff. I just want to make sure if I add this, if I can. Yeah, that should be good. Or you know. Uh, any other place do you think? Uh, what else? Where else do you think? This also looks good. Mm, I don't know, I'm yet still not convinced with the thing that we have to put this stick in. I think I will put it here only. Right? So that this, there will be a picture here and this entire uh, area is covered, is decorated. And I don't want to put too many things on this side so that it will queue, show the picture like we, or the photograph also very well. So maybe we can just put it here. So it's finalized. I know I always have struggled with this glue, but I love this glue. I always use a tacky glue in my projects. As, I, as maybe you guys know that I'm not good with the glue gun. <laughs> so if I had to stick some bulky, you know, clusters of flowers, then I'll go ahead and use glue gun. But otherwise, most of the time I use my uh, sweet tacky glue. Just here. do this because I don't want to create more mess okay. so I think our page is ready this page is ready to go on our album but if in case later on if I think that oh, I need to add some more elements then I may go later on and add some more elements but of course I will show you what to do so this is our first page or first layout ready and let's start with our second one <laughs> 